Remember when he said, I'd like to take him behind the barn? And the fake news, see the fake news? Oh, look at all those guys. The fake news said, I want to take him behind. Remember that? He said, I want to take him behind the barn. I'm going to take him. And the fake news said, isn't that nice? Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. It said he wants to take him behind the barn. In other words, he wants to take me behind the barn and go. And the fake news is saying it's wonderful. Then when I said, let him take me behind the barn, I hit him. So they said, oh, that's terrible. He's a fascist. Trump is a fascist. Now, if I ever did, if we were ever behind a barn, I would look at him and I'd go like this. Donald Trump's public image, emphasizing his perceived strength and combative personality. The enthusiastic response from his supporters suggests an admiration for these traits, viewing them as indicators of robust leadership. Trump strategically responds to Joe Biden and media comments, aiming to counter perceived bias and unfair portrayals. Positioning himself as a Democratic figure facing victimization, Trump argues against unjust depictions by mainstream media and institutions. A hypothetical scenario involving resilience, where Trump is dragged behind a barn, signifies his readiness to confront challenges aligned with conservative values. The article highlights the West vs. them mentality created by Trump's dichotomy between himself and supporters against the label of fake news, fostering solidarity among those who feel their perspectives are underrepresented or unfairly criticized.